Well, hey there. Do you ever wonder how a seed becomes a tree? Oh, or where all that wood that makes up your school or home comes from? What happens when you cut down a tree? Well, the answers are all out here in the forest. It's an amazing cycle out here in the forest, but it doesn't happen by itself. Let's check it out. Yeah. The cycle starts with planting. In fact, we plant over 40 million trees every year here in Oregon. Whoa. 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 Trees start from seed, which means they start really small. This small? Yeah, right. Even smaller. Ow, ow, ow. ow and ow. most of the time, they don't germinate out here. That happens down the road in a special greenhouse. Let's go have a look. A team of botanists oversee the germination and care of millions and millions of tiny little seeds. They grow them in here to give them the best chance for survival. Seeds will grow in the wild, but one ice storm, one drought, or one hungry deer, and that seedling's a goner. These seedling managers are experts and know how to protect these seedlings from pests or disease. If you like gardening, this might be right up your alley. After a couple of years, those seedlings are collected and given a one-way ticket to the mountain to be planted all around Oregon. Get this, by hand. What? Every one of them. It's a lot of work, but if you love being outdoors and hiking, it sure beats working in an office. Come on. So the trees are in the ground, and now we play the waiting game. Man, should have brought a book. Actually, there's more to it than that. Sure, these trees are growing, but they'll need some help and someone to make sure they make it to maturity. We call them foresters. They're the team of women and men who are out making sure all of those trees grow healthy and fast. They run tests on seedlings, gather data, and measure, whoa, a dog. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Get this, a lot of foresters get to take their dogs to work every day. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, they make sure our new forest stays healthy for the next 50 years. But come on, working outside with your dog? You can't beat that. <laughs> Lucky foresters. So the trees are out here in the forest, just growing and 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 growing. Using the power of the sun to turn carbon dioxide into wood, like it's no big thing. But trees aren't the only story out here. Your drinking water comes from the forest. Fish and animals live out here in the forest. And a team of scientists are making sure that when we grow a forest for wood products, we're keeping those other great things healthy as well. There's a lot of science going on out here all the time. Wildlife biologists are tracking animal populations. Hydrologists are recording stream temperature and clarity. Fish biologists are monitoring fish health. What the? What even is that thing? Together, they are compiling all of the scientific data that monitor the health of pretty much everything that's out here. So, if you like tracking animals, using sweet technology, and running cool experiments, being a forest scientist might be pretty great. So, as trees grow bigger and are ready to be turned into wood products, it takes planning and teamwork for all that to happen. We call in the forest engineers. Engineers make sure that the roads, bridges, and river crossings are all ready to handle the trucks and equipment we'll need to cut the trees and take them to the mill. These engineers love math. Love math. And designing systems that make everything out here work. An engineer gathers information from the foresters and the scientists and uses that information to help design the perfect road or a bridge that will help protect the river. Only after all that work has been done can the loggers arrive to harvest the trees. Logging has gotten high tech and they use what are called skylines to lift whole trees up a hillside to be put on trucks. You know that claw game at the pizza place? It's kind of like that, but like times a thousand. They're trying to cut the trees and load them as delicately as they can so that the ground isn't damaged. And once the logs are cut to length and loaded onto the trucks, it's off to the mill to be made into wood products. See ya! Then it starts all over again. Growing little trees from seed, planting 40 million more each year, and making sure they grow as healthy as they can. But why? 
Well, the places you live and go to school and play are all built of something. And given the choice between concrete, steel, plastic, or wood, wood is the most environmentally friendly of all of them. Paper, cardboard boxes, that's all wood as well. And of all the building materials we can choose, wood is the only choice that's renewable, which means we can grow back, which means we can enjoy forests forever if we do it right. And that's what this team of forest professionals is trying to do. Make sure we have forests and wood products today and way, way, way into the future. Who knows, someday you can be part of the big team that make forests work. Forests are awesome! Want to know more about forests and the people out working in the forests? Check out these videos and you'll be like super smart about all kinds of forest stuff. You can also check out OregonForest.org for all kinds of forest info.